Hello you bunch of dirty dogs and welcome to the Halo Foundry. Before we get into the meat and veg of this video, I just need to say a little thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel as I've just hit over 500 subs. I know that this isn't a massive achievement and some may even laugh at this amount, but to me this really means a lot. When I started this channel 4 months ago I had no friends, no money, no ambitions and a tiny dick. But now, I still have them all, but I also have a YouTube channel with 500 subs. So thank you once again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, well, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button like you're tapping some ass and join me for some fun. But like I said, I couldn't reach this goal without all of you. So once again, from the bottom of the dark depths of my blackened heart, thank you and subscribe. So with all that soppy stuff out of the way, let's get into the video. So on this channel, I've already gone over the Jazzware Wave 3 of the Spartan Collection and the single figures for the World of Halo line, but there have been a few other leaks within the World of Halo line that I haven't even touched yet with my videos. But there was another leak yesterday that has got me really excited, so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and make this video. Now, all of these pictures that I'm about to show belong to an account on Instagram called BrianMCX. I asked his permission if I could use these for my video and he gave me his blessing to use them in this video. Thank you kind sir, you are a gentleman and a scholar. So please show him some love on Instagram, his link is down below in the description. But somehow he's able to get his hands on all these early pictures of Jazzware and Mega Construct sets. So if you're a Halo collector and want to know what's coming up, following Brian would be a great idea. And subscribing to my channel. So first up we've got this lovely picture here, now on the left we've got the single packs for the series 3 which I've already made a video on here, but on the right we've also got two new vehicles, but for now we're going to focus on the middle of this picture. Now in the middle we've got two new hero and villain sets, if you've missed these sets and in series 1 we had three of these already. These hero and villain sets are basically a pack which comes with two figures, two weapons and two bases and I really love these sets in series 1, sadly there weren't any in series 2, but here with series 3 we get two new ones. And within these sets we get Master Chief, another Master Chief once again, woo, you know how it goes, but he's got the Bulldog Shotgun, but sadly there aren't any clearer images of these so I think it's the, bull, it's the Bulldog Shotgun. But the second figure here with Chief is Tarvarus I think his name is, with a huge ass weapon. I've got no idea what this weapon is, but it might be the uh, scrap cannon detached from its base, even though it looks completely different to the scrap cannon. I'm just going out on a limb here. But Torvarus was shown off by 343 as being one of the brute leaders we'll be facing off against in Halo Infinite. So he's a possible boss fight right there, and it's very cool to see him head to head in the pack with another chief. But then the second pack that we get comes with a marine with an assault rifle which again isn't anything special as we've had tons of marines already just like Chief and, it's, and there doesn't seem to be anything different with this marine at all. But with him we also get a completely new jackal and I'm loving the look of this guy. Luckily from what I could tell from this picture this jackal isn't just a repaint of the ones that we got in series 1 and also looks to be a completely different scub from the one in series 3 single packs. Lovely stuff. But this Jackal is shown with that huge ass energy pistol, just like the single packed one. I personally feel like this huge ass energy pistol is a complete mistake and it is actually the energy pistol from the Spartan Collection line which is made for 6 inch figures and not these 4 inch figures. But if we quickly go over here and take a look at this grunt with the shade, you can clearly see that the pistol looks a lot closer in scale to what we've seen in previous games. So I'll be really surprised if we end up with this huge, bulking, bulbous pistol. But maybe they've just increased the size so you don't lose it. Who knows? But now, I really love both of these sets and I can't wait to get my hands on them. But what I'm really excited for from these leaks, and I guess a lot of you will be, is the vehicles that are shown off. Again, Series 2 didn't have any vehicles, but it looks like Jazzware are going to be making it up with Series 3. First up we get the shade turret which comes with a grunt assault in red. Now this thing is absolutely beautiful. Before these leaks I kept going over in my head which vehicles I'd like to see Jazzware do for the World of Halo line and although the shade turret isn't technically a vehicle I didn't even consider them making this. Going off the Warthog set we got in series 1 
it's likely that this set isn't going to come with any additional weapons or bases but the shade looks like an absolute g what a masterpiece and it's something that's definitely going to be adding some depth to your halo dioramas for the world of halo line the next up for these pictures we've got the gun goose with a spartan sea locks in blue i'm not very good at reading but now this is a really cool set and i'm really excited to get my hands on it once again but as we've already got the mongoose in series one we can imagine exactly what this is going to be like the mongoose with some guns stuck to the top so it's nothing really exciting here but i'm still going to be picking this one up but i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people were going to give this one a miss but being true legends as we all are we're going to get them all okay you know it's going to be worth it in the end but the weapon included in this set is a little hard for me to make out it's a little bit of a brighter grey and I'm not really sure what it looks like that because none of the weapons in Halo Infinite are shown off to be like a, a true grey just yet but maybe it's just a battle rifle and it's just the, the lighting of the picture who knows but both of these new sets are a welcomed addition to the world of Halo line both of them satisfy me to my very core but then yesterday our boy Brian posted a picture of the daddy of all vehicles the Mantis which comes with a Spartan EVA and likely no additional weapons. But I know that the Mantis isn't everyone's favorite UNST vehicle, but personally, I love it. And I'm so excited to get myself this bad boy. Going by its appearance in Halo 4 and 5, this is gonna be one tall figure. Maybe even the height of the world of Halo Warthog standing up, or possibly taller than that. This leak does also confirm the Mantis for Halo Infinite, but I don't think that's going to be a shock for many of us at all. It is probably guaranteed at this point that we're going to see the Mantis. But what I'm hoping for is that the detail of these three new vehicles are going to be exactly the same as the Warthog, Mongoose and Ghost that we got in Series 1. As I felt that the detail applied and the love and attention given to them was absolutely fantastic and I'd love to see that carried over to these new sets and going forward with new ones as well. But what is also really nice with all three of these sets that the figures are completely new molds for the Spartans and the Grunt which I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty more of these repainted for future releases but for now I love that none of them come with Chief or a Marine at all as we can all agree that getting Chief and Marines is getting really boring now so all of these figures are welcome addition. So I know that Jazzware has said that the single packs of Series 3 of the World of Halo line and the Spartan collection are actually due to come out next month but actually next week now. But as these vehicles and the hero and villain packs haven't officially been announced yet by Jazzware, I'd be surprised if they show up next month. So I'm thinking maybe August would be a good release date for them, but they might start popping up in Target from now on anyway. But regardless of when they're released, you can count on the fact that they're not going to be released outside of the goddamn USA. I mean, I love you all in the USA. You are cousins overseas, for God's sake, yeah. But show the UK some love. And actually saying that, the UK is not actually the worst one out of all of us. There are other countries out there who don't have anything at all. So thankfully, the UK is like middle tier for receiving stuff. But it still sucks donkey penai if you get what I mean. But even with that said, I'm definitely going to be picking these things up from eBay if they don't show in the UK in normal stores. Because to me, these are worth the extra price. So if you want to make a quick buck, throw them on eBay for me. Go on, be a darling. But another thing about this Mantis, and it's got me excited for another reason, as it's a large, complex vehicle, it sort of confirms that Jazzware will be doing the Scorpion and the Wraith as well. Now, I think some people out there were expecting these vehicles regardless, but to me, I was doubting whether they are going to go as large as the Scorpion. And I know that the Scorpion is a hell of a lot larger than the Mantis, but if you're going to be making the Mantis, you've got to hell be making the Scorpion as well. It's stupid not to at this point. But anyway... Those are the pictures that we've got so far. Like I said, they're not officially confirmed yet by Jazzware. But also, I won't be surprised if they also start showing up in like Target and Walmart in the US. So just keep your eyes peeled. But please comment down below. Will you be picking any of these up? Or are you finding it hard to keep up with all these releases? Like I said, Series 2 still isn't available worldwide. And I'm also aware that some people in the US still can't get their hands on them. And what figures are you hoping Jazzware are going to be doing going forward? Because I'm really excited to see their take on the Hunter. Man, that'd be beautiful. But whatever your thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly Halo Gear videos. Now don't let the door hit you on the way out, boys and ladies.